More of those rhymes. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office.
Wonder. Oh, Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or, as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone! Norman! Clothes! Norman, we have a visitor! Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Doesn't look right. Okay, okay. No. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident? Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazi. Name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arty. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, Rikele Vikings, Rikele. Were you in the band? Minagra? No, no. Rikele, satana, en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach, but uh, 
We have shared the stage or two. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Rain is coming down like from the house of this night. Nice. I shouldn't interrupt him. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Need the key. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and their electronic cigarettes. Yes. The future is... So, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there.
Need to find the key. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Are you, uh, planning to go watch the Deer Fest Parade, Mandy May? And sit in a crowd of noisy drunks all day. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you.
What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. No.
the clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <laughs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here. be opened on this side.
This door needs a knob. A security computer. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Think. Doesn't look right. Odin said Thor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? The computer controlled the door that Tor went through.
Tor left the wellness center. And the doors are open. Catch up with Tor. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why?
Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Rose watched Tora go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh my god. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum.
The Taken was momentarily out of action, but not for long. Saga raised the sawn-off shotgun to stop it, once and for all. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? <laughs> 